AZD. This I one's dedicated to everyone who loves Be someone. Be the best and fuck the rest. This African the one rock star. Needs. Let's get it. West Media. All right, let's go, my friends. Let's talk. Let's talk advanced mathematics. Let's talk advanced language. Let's talk codes to the matrix of your mind, okay? I'm here to help you a lot. So let's get started. We're looking at this thing called beasting. Let me explain it to you from a different mindset, okay? This is nothing more than running a process. A process is a series of elements you put together. So if I said, I'm gonna create some random arbitrary symbols, okay? That you do in algebra, X, Y, Z, all right? So we have X, Y, and Z, whatever it looks like to you over there. It doesn't look like X, Y, and Z is backwards, okay? X, Y, and Z. So basically, X would be, let's say, workout. Y would be wake up. Z would be diet. And then Q would be um, cold shower. And then L would be uh, reading. And then let's say we have another element, right? We have reading, cold shower. Uh, um, using one's own energy to get around would be, let's say, another symbol, C. Uh, and what we do is I'm about to lay down the elements for you elements. So imagine an elemental chart of, of uh, physics or chemistry and how, if you combine, let's say H and you put two oxygen, you get water, but H by itself, hydrogen and oxygen by itself is one thing, but combined in that form, you get a reaction that you call water. Okay. H2O is water and everything has a, every physical thing you have, has a physical structure. This is math, this is science, this is chemistry. Now, what we do with the beast is we do this. We've discovered that there are certain things that will happen. Watch the science of this so you can have a lot of confidence when you do this shit. The science is if you move your body, right, in a rhythmic way, push-ups, burpees, pull-ups, whatever the fuck you do, it's rhythmic, it's rhythmic. It's over and over and over. Sit up, leg raises thing. And you go to the next rhythm and to the next rhythm. There is a breathing. So what's happening is not only your physical is moving, there's a breathing that has to become rhythmic. So when you do breathing rhythmic, you do physical rhythmic. And if you do, let's say that for a long period of time, some, the combination of breathing, physical movement, sweating, all that shit, what it does, whether or not you slept a lot, whether or not you're happy or sad, Doing that combined, the physical element of doing that creates a different chemical reaction in the body and the brain. This cannot be denied. You know it and I know it. Nobody did an hour and a half of really intense workout and after was like, God, I feel like shit right now. You know what I mean? The worst day, I'm just feeling bad. Like it, it's not possible. The difficult part is getting to the hour and a half of workout and actually doing it, not, not like slopping through it. So we know that by physically exerting oneself, we change the chemistry of the body. One, two, guaranteed that if you stand under freezing water, your body is going to have a response that it doesn't matter again if you're tired or not. Like hitting that cold of a water, then warm, then cold, creates a, a physical, non-negotiable chemical change. You get that, right? We, we have taken certain elements. So I tell you to read or listen to lectures or whatever until you feel a moment of ah, then stop. Why? That ah is a chemical change in the body. You've combined the reading and your present time and you've created something. Now, we add the breathing, rhythmic breathing, with the reading, with the cold shower, with let's say bicycling. What starts to happen is these elements added together result in a few things. Ready? Watch. If your wake up time is right, then you'll notice that you have cured one of mankind's biggest ailments right now. You could Google it and it's called insomnia. None of us are suffering from insomnia if you're beasting. I'm just telling you. If you're beasting and getting up at either 4.30 or 5, insomnia is the last on the list. You're, you can fall asleep right now. If I said, we'll come back in 20 minutes, everybody just take a nap. Whoever is beasting could literally come back after a nap. It could be, a, see everybody like, it's like five minute, 10 minute, but we'll be like, yeah, whoa, okay. And somebody who's not beasting may not be able to do it. Uh, well, what do you mean? Just take a nap now? Yep, yeah, we can do it. Trust me. <laughs> it's gone, bro. We, we're working 
all day. We get up early every day. So, so insomnia is gone. It's just gone. It's not even here. So the opposite is happening. Okay. Next, if you've ever felt like you lacked confidence and you read a lot of books, okay, by doing this process, you begin to be more confident. There's just no denying it. You carry yourself better. You start feeling better about yourself. Why? Because it requires you to overcome many things to make the time work, to make it work, to make it work day after day after day after day. And <clears throat> your competence, being good at something, can create your confidence. Quick video. What is the lion's den? This is a group that I teach the beauty and the art of what I call the beast which is what I am and I've always been. It's my fulfillment to Manu, my teacher, and the application of what he said to me. It's only $97 a month. You sign up at riseapart.com. Every single day we meet, I change your life. I can't tell you much more. It is the program you have to be on. It's for men only. I will completely alter your existence. I'm the first example of it. If you know me, you need to be in the lion's den. I have changed so many lives so fast. You have no idea. Do yourself a favor because you're $97 a month. I can shut that out any second. But you need me and you need, you need this art. It's not for everyone. But those who know, I'm about to change the entire course of your destiny. Be the best. Fuck the rest. So as you get better and you start seeing your body shift and change, you go, man, I'm doing something. I'm making changes in myself. So the mathematics, just so you know and why it's foolproof, is because we're literally working with the physical to change the mental. And we can measure the physical very quickly. Do an hour and a half of workout, wake up at this time, blah, blah, blah. Now, one thing you're going to face is tiredness. So we have to reframe it because today is the last day of tiredness for me from that perspective. We're creating new terminology that works works to make you strong, works to take control over the, from the gods and over the gods. And if I say that tiredness is no longer a, a subject, what I mean by that is we, we go to the yin, we go to the dark, and we go where nobody wants to go. So I said it in the video today, but it was a hint at what I was going to teach. And the teaching is this. If I see a man who's not tired, I'm going to question his work ethics. Right? Like, you mean... What do you mean you're not tired? How much energy have you reserved today? For what? What were you saving it for? For the end of the day to do what? To not be able to sleep? What the fuck's wrong with you? You just didn't want to end up too tired today? Why? You would end up too tired if you worked your fucking ass off. So why do I need to worry about tiredness when I realize that tiredness I will now use to measure a man? Not because he says he's tired, but because I could see in his eyes when I look at him. Right? Like if you look right now at Ness, it's like 3.30 or 4, whatever fucking time it is over there. He looks tired. Right? Look at Eric looks tired. Sultan looks tired. These are tired. Look at you guys. Your face. These are tired men. These are tired men. Good. We come here after a long day's work. And a lot of us are going to keep working. Tonight I'm going straight through again. Right? Why? That's what brings us together, motherfucker. That's the difference between me and you, asshole. And I, like, that's why I like to be around working men because working men are exerting energy and exchanging something. They're doing something. Working men. So we get rid of tiredness as a, as a problem and we embrace it as a solution. And we say, okay, if I'm not tired, then I got some things I got to do. Let me go work out more. Why? I can't go to the end of the night and have all this energy. Like, what time is it? 12? Let's, let's go out. No. No, 12 o'clock, I need to be thinking about there's about four hours of rest now if I go to bed. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? And I told my girlfriends, I said, listen, we can't catch up. Meaning, if I'm up till 2.30 tonight and I get up at 4.30, I'll never get those two hours back unless I decide not to get up at 4.30 one day. That's going to be very difficult for me. Unless I want to catch it in the middle of the day. Like, I'm just like, look, it's going to be almost impossible. Like, unless I just have to. And I'll tell you guys at that point, hey, tomorrow I'm sleeping in. This is what's up, blah, blah, blah. We don't know. Because when I did this in Los Angeles, I didn't do it as strict as I'm doing it now. 
The difference was I did it just for myself. Now I'm doing it with other people involved. So having other people make you accountable makes a big difference and that's why I'm doing it. So we have some values we have to think about that's gonna bring us the woman, bring us the money, bring us the friends, bring us the power. And one of those is called be, uh, being accountable, accountability. The world's missing it. It's like being responsible. It makes a big difference, okay?